So I first started by removing the background. I made a selection around the subject and using a layer mask, I hid the background. So I basically did not remove the background. I hid the background with a layer mask. So afterwards, I removed the head of the subject. I decapitated the officer. <laughs> so I did the same thing here. I removed the background using a layer mask. And then I tried to align the head to fit with the body. So when you're doing something like this, ensure the head is not bigger than the body or smaller than the body. You grab. So I did a final, um, I did a few adjustments to ensure that everything is covered up properly. I basically used the liquify filter to wrap up the neck areas. So after that, I moved on to change the skin color of the hand. I used a black and white adjustment layer and I reduced the reds and the yellows and after that, I changed the blend mode to multiply. Then I used a selective color adjustment layer to like fine tune the reds and the yellows to match with the skin color of my face so that everything looks realistic. And then I clipped them to the selection I made for the hand. Then afterwards, I ensured that every part of the hand was properly covered. So I applied a few um, adjustments, basically the curves adjustment to ensure that it has a balanced contrast, highlight and shadows. Then I did some color balance to ensure everything is looking balanced as far as color is concerned. So I added shadows around the neck to make it look a lot more realistic. Mm. That's how I look with that grenade launcher. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So <laughs> I converted everything to a smart object and imported it into my original design document. I added the background which I downloaded from Pinterest and duplicated my image and scaled it up so that I will have the eyes at the background. So I added some black gradient at the bottom of the design and added an image and still added another gradient on top of it. And so I did some polishing, added some aircrafts and choppers, some jet fighters. And then I ensured that everything was looking balanced with some curves and some color balance adjustment. And then I added the credits and the logos. I blurred the background a little bit and then um, it was time to add the blood and the wounds. This was a very challenging and tricky aspect. So because um, I tried out several blend modes and several kinds of wounds and scratches to ensure that I get that cinematic look and feel. So I added this wound on my cheek. Uh, Oh my God. So I did a few adjustments and then I added this scratch on my, on the hands. And then I added the title, tried out some fonts. And then I finally chose this. 
and I add it. So what I did next was to remove the police inscription on the um, body of the soldier or the officer rather. So I used the content aware fill effect. So I was able to remove that and then I also removed the other one on the left arm. So I polished the wounds a lot more and then ensured that I dotted my eyes and crossed my T's and finally we have this. Nanda Kurene Uchakudasai.